when your Google Sheets spreadsheet starts to grow in complexity, it is often a good idea to group similar parts of your data so you can easily collapse and expand them as you need them. In a previous tutorial, we learned how to hide rows and columns in Google Sheets, but this hide capability is a little bit clumsy and doesn't help you to quickly toggle between the hide and unhide state. Google Sheets solves this with the group tool. Let's take a look at the sample data here. We have a bunch of sales teams by store and their associated sales summary by quarter. And if I hit hold shift and mouse wheel to the right, at the end we have a total sales figures. Already the data is moving past the edge of the screen. And if we add more teams and more years and quarters, it's going to be hard to compare between teams at a glance. So let's have a look at this spreadsheet with groups in it. So flipping from a raw sheet to the group one, you'll probably see the differences straight away. Across the top here, you can see two lines and a little box with a minor symbol in it. Now the top one, you can see the line goes from uh, column D all the way across to column T, where that's the end of the fourth quarter. Then in the second line, you can see where it says Q1, it goes over to H, which is the end of Q1, then Q2 across to L, end of Q2, Q3 to row P, and then Q4 from Q to uh, column T. And then on the left-hand side, you can see that we've grouped by sales team. So our Pomona sales team, we've grouped here. So row three to row 10, and then our Croy the same, and our King King the same. Uh, we can expand these or we can hide these easily by clicking on the little squares. So at the moment it says minus to show that it isn't expanded. And if I hit the Pomona team, I just have to click the button. Done. If I hit the Croy team, I can do the same. I can actually hide all teams. But for example, if I wanted to just see the performance of the Pomona team and the King Kin team, you can now see it's easier for me to view at a glance. Let's unhide Croy too. Great. Now across the top, perhaps we just want to see our personal details for our teams and the end of year reporting. So I can hide all these quarter reports by clicking this top row bar here. Let's click that. And now at a glance, we can see just the titles for the end of the year. Let's unhide that again. And I can do the same for each quarter. Perhaps I just want quarter one and three. Now we can see it at a glance. Perhaps I just want uh, quarters three and four. Now we can see those two at a glance as well and unhide. But each one can be hidden and revealed as you click on them, just like this. So how do we do this? Let's flip back to our raw version and quickly build out our groups. Cool. To get to groups, what you want to do first is select your range. Let's hide all our quarters first. So let's select column E and then I'm going to click, to, I'm going to hold shift down and then click column T and that'll select this entire range here. Now one approach to accessing the grouping is we can now go to data and if you look for groups down the bottom here, you can see group columns E through to T or you can use the right click, which is my preferred approach. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to right click and go to about halfway down and group columns E through to T and select group columns E to T. Done. Cool. So we've got our first one done. That's great. Let's test it. Let's hide all these quarters and we've got exactly what we had predicted. So now we've got all our sales teams and their details and then we've got all the end of year sales data. Great. Let's unhide that again. Let's work on our sales teams this time. So you might have noticed that I put a space between each of the sales team and made it dark. It wasn't just for a pretty design, although it does help separate each team. What it's actually doing is helping us to create our groups. So for example, if I had a subgroup, say for, from Asad down to Theon, uh, another group from Ananya down to uh, Maria, then I might have a problem grouping it. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna click this row four and go down to Theon and select it holding shift and clicking and then i'm going to right click and go down to group rows four to six now it looks pretty good so far you can see it's collapsing fine no worries now what if i wanted to make a separate group between anyana down to maria okay you might think great i'm going to select this row seven down to maria hold shift down and click uh, row 10 right click and group row seven to ten all right let's see what happens ah 
it didn't create another little one of these uh, collapsible lines. It included it in the first set of lines. So now if I hide this, the entire Pomona group will be hidden. Okay, we don't really want that. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this grouping. So we can select this range again, and then we'll right click, and we can go down here and it says ungroup rows four to 10. Cool, done, everything's back to normal. All right, so that's the reason why I put a space in. So now if I put a space between each of these sections that I want to group, when I select multiple groups down a row, they won't combine into one larger mega group. Let's go ahead and group these sales teams. I'm gonna select row four, hold shift down, and left click on row 10. I'm gonna right click now and go down to group rows four to 10. Cool. Now I'll do the same again for Croy. I'm gonna hold row 12, hold shift down and left click row 19 to get the range, then right click and go to group rows 12 to 19. And lastly, kink in. Same again, left click on the row 21, down to a uh, hold shift down to 25, right click and group. So now you can see each one has its own separate grouping and I can group and ungroup until the goats come home. Awesome. All right, so we've got our sales teams all grouped up. Let's do our quarters now. You can see with uh, column E, column I, column M and column Q that I've left a little space for the same reason I mentioned earlier. So they will group individually instead of one whole bunch. So to group Q1, I'm gonna select column F, not column E, but column F, hold shift down to column H, and then right click, and then group, and do the same again, J to L, hold shift down, click, right click, group, and just so we remember how to get to the other group shortcut, we're gonna hold, uh, we're gonna select column N, hold shift down to P, go to data, down to group columns. And we'll do the same again. We're going to go from R for Q4 to column T and data and group columns again. Now we have all our quarters grouped. We'll click them to test them out. And our spreadsheet is much easier to read. That's it for creating groups in Google Sheets. If you enjoyed the tutorial, hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one.